Previously on Home Free Alaska. Well, hello friends, welcome back to the channel. We are in a hotel on the side of the road somewhere in Kentucky, and we are continuing on our road trip across country to Alaska. Last time we left you guys off, we had just got to Kentucky for the night after our first day of driving. So today, we are gonna be taking Parker to the Ark Encounter. Did you help dad back up the truck, Parker? Mm -hmm. Right on top of the wall. Right on top of the wall, huh? Can you see it? <laughs> That's huge. It's right? huge. It's so cool. You ready to go see it, Pete? Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Woo woo. Good morning, Indiana. Watson family's in Indiana. Hey, you guys. Good morning. So we are on our way out the door. I think we're going to get the continental breakfast here at the hotel. All of us are kind of feeling that, um, crappy hotel life feeling. <laughs> I woke up this morning, my hands were a little swollen. Our tummies are a little upset. Like we're not used to eating like this. Even if we're eating like decent stuff at the restaurants, it's still not like, you know, home cooked food. So, and you guys remember when we went on our North Carolina trip for Joe's uh, procedure, his vasectomy reversal, I pulled my neck out somehow at the hotel. Um, and I don't, I think it was from the hotel pillows. I don't really know. I don't remember pulling anything. All I know is I woke up the next day and my neck was killing me. And then by the time we got home to Virginia from that trip, I was out on the couch for three days. Like couldn't even hardly keep, move my head in any direction. It was the worst experience ever. Well, it went away. That was this summer, but it has come back a couple times since then. Nothing as bad as that, but definitely had a couple days here and there where I'm like, oh my gosh, that pain is back in my neck again. I don't know if you guys could tell in the video yesterday because I was really trying to just be a trooper and not show it, but I woke up yesterday morning in the hotel with the same pain in my neck and took Tylenol. Once that wore off, the pain came right back and Needless to say, I haven't slept very good the last couple nights. Any position that I sleep in, it's just radiating all through my neck down into my shoulder. So I think once we get settled in Alaska, I think I'm gonna need to find a chiropractor or somebody because I think that North Carolina trip, I tweaked something for sure because I haven't been right ever since. But yeah, so that's why I braided my hair today. Sometimes the bun on top of my head is super heavy as you guys could imagine. So I just did a little braid so that I don't have all the weight on top of my head. Anyway, we're gonna get packed up here and head out, get a bite to eat, and then hit the road. We're in Iowa now, and we'll see how far we get today. Driving down the road that I grew up on once again. It's when I pass your door, the memories come back again. Pictures of us flooding back just like a wave. Makes me wonder what happened, what you're up to today. Remember when we stole your mother's car, we drove for days. Teenagers with two. All right, that breakfast left a little something to be desired. I ate probably like a quarter of that waffle and I couldn't eat anything else. They didn't have any hot breakfast. The eggs looked like they had been there for seven hours. So the waffle was the best we could do, but we do have some bananas in the truck, thankfully. So I'll probably just eat a banana, but we're gonna head out. I've got my jacket on you guys. We're heading north, it's getting colder, whoa, whoa. Joe said it's 37 degrees outside and I'm like, whoa. We went from 75 in Virginia to 37 here in Iowa and it's just gonna get colder as we go up. So I was excited to finally break out the jacket. So far, we've gotten pretty lucky with the hotels that we've stayed in and been able to park where we can see the truck from the window so that we can keep an eye on it. No issues yet. We've got the tire locks. We put those on every night before we come into the hotel and thankfully we're able to park it where we can see it. And we just stay together, you know, at the rest stops and the gas stations, we always stay together 
never let Parker go anywhere by himself. I mean, you guys know how it is. All the, the truck stops, you've got like stickers everywhere about human trafficking and call this number if you see something crazy. And I'm like, I got Parker right next to me the whole time. <laughs> I don't even play with stuff like that. It's dangerous. It's really dangerous traveling across country. And I still can't believe that Lexi, our daughter, drove across country by herself to California from Virginia. She was bound and determined. She was determined to go and she went. She got there in four days and I couldn't sleep the entire time. I was so worried about her. I put her location on on her phone so Joe and I could make sure she was safe and then we had a code word. So if I text her, she had to give me the code word so that I knew it was her and not somebody texting from her phone. Oh yeah, it's a little, it's a little chilly out here, Joe. Mm -hmm. Feels good though, huh? Yeah. You got your jeans on and your boots. What, buddy? I told you. Parker's trying to come out in his shorts, and I'm like, dude, go step outside. This is not Virginia. <laughs> You're gonna want to put your sweatpants on. He loathes jeans, kind of like his mama, and I think both of us are gonna have to get used to wearing them, but I just love leggings. They're so comfortable and they're warm, so I brought him a ton of sweatpants, but it's definitely chilly. Things work pretty good, huh? I don't know. Nobody's tried to steal the trailer yet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll find out, huh? Well, ho hopefully we won't find out, Joe. That's the goal, is to not find out. So we actually got those tire locks on Amazon. I think they were like 50 bucks for two of them or something, I don't know. But, I mean, it works. It makes me feel better. And we also have the trailer hitch lock as well. So yeah, they come. Up, up.
So we're reading some of your YouTube comments because you know, we don't really have anything else to do right now. I am overwhelmed by all the comments on the last couple videos, you guys, and I was reading them yesterday as Joe was driving and totally bawling my eyes out, like total frog in my throat, couldn't even get my words out. We're on a very bumpy road right now, so I'm sorry. Like, it's like, blah, 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 blah. but just heartfelt, sweet, kind people all of you are. I am just blown away. And yesterday, I was in tears, wasn't I, Joe? <laughs> couldn't even read your comments about Joe's retirement ceremony and his mom and how, you know, we wished she was able to be here with us and uh, just a very special day, very emotional and I'm so glad we got to share that with you guys. Sorry I missed the live, however I was able to watch the replay, really enjoyed seeing Joe loosen up and engage in conversation. <laughs> Joe says he's going to take a shot of vodka from now on every, do, every time we do a live stream. <laughs> Maybe that will help him lighten up a little bit. No, trust me when I say you don't want Joe to drink vodka, right Joe? Yeah, no. Joe's not a drinker. I've told you guys this before. He's carried me home fireman style many times in my younger years, but Joe just doesn't like to drink alcohol. And so when he does, if he does, he just drinks it really fast. Don't you, Joe? Tastes nasty. He said it tastes nasty, so he's trying to get it down. And then, you guys, I just cannot. I have, he's fallen asleep on the stairs before. Um, I pretty much just have to cover him up and leave him where he stays because I can't lift him. But those days are gone, right, Joe? We don't really do that anymore. Yeah, I spent enough days hugging the toilet bowl. I just have no desire. <laughs> so excited for you all. If he wants to, to eat on lives, let him eat. <laughs> Talking about your mini wheats. Who cares what people say? You can't travel into Canada with pepper spray. Bear spray, yes. I saw that on Kara and Nate and weeks ago. Have a good trip. So many, uh, yeah, we've got, some, we've got some here. So if we have to, we'll toss it. No big deal. But at least we'll have it across the country for sure. Bummed I had to work, I missed the live. Praying for a safe journey for you all. So excited to follow along. Watch out for the gas station coffee. Some will grow hair on your chest. <laughs> Girl, you ain't lying. If we are hard pressed to find any decent coffee, like can I just go into a gas station that has a pot of coffee? I don't need all these crazy espresso machines where you grind your own, you know, coffee beans and froth it and all. I just want coffee and cream. That's all I want. Yesterday we had one of those cups, didn't we, Joe, that put hair on our chest. It was like We poured like half a cup of cream in there and it was still just disgusting. It was so bitter. <laughs> Someone says, I really like you. <laughs> we are like-minded. Yay. Because not everybody likes me. God is good. So happy for you, Joe. God came through and showed up. Good luck. So much to look forward to. Moving to Alaska is the ultimate dream. Anyway, I'll get through them all. And then I have like a hundred more on Instagram and a hundred more on Facebook. And then I have private messages on both. And, <laughs> but the good news is I've got lots of time to read them. Right, so we're at a rest stop. We just hit South Dakota. We're gonna go to the bathroom, let the puppies out to go to the bathroom, and Joe likes to wrestle with them and run them in the grass. I just wanted to address, because I've had several comments already on the, the road trip videos about the dogs being in the kennels. People are like, get those dogs out of the kennels. Why are your dogs kenneled? You guys, the dogs have grown up kenneled. Ever since we got them as puppies, we did not want to allow them to run free in the apartment when we were not home because as you know, puppies chew and they weren't potty trained for the, you know, in the beginning. So the, the dogs, love their kennels. That's their safe place. They're happy to go in the kennels. It's not like they feel like they're being punished. They're large kennels, so they're just fine. They have their dogs in, in the, what? They have their dogs in there? No, they don't. They have their dog beds in there, so they're comfortable, especially Bradley, because he's scared of the big diesels. I shared that with you guys before. 
he is happy to go back up in that kennel. He jumps right in there and it's his safe place and he's happy. We don't need the dogs chewing up our stuff or chewing up the screen on the windows when we're out you know, eating in a restaurant or taking a bathroom break. So it's safer for the truck and it makes the dogs happy and they feel safe and comfortable in the kennels. We are stopping at least every two to three hours for them to go to the bathroom, run and play, which is more than what they normally got when we were at home in the apartment. So trust me when I say, the puppies are just fine. <laughs> we're not abusing them by kenneling them in the back of the truck. Come on guys, come on guys. What's up Gunner? You wanna go potty? You wanna go potty? Yeah. Sit. Sit down. Stay. He's looking for that truck. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go play, boys. <laughs> He's ready, Joe. Woo, go get it. Drop. 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 Ready? Go get it. Do they look miserable to you guys? <laughs> They're so happy. They're just happy to be out of the apartment. They don't even care. They love road trips. Even when we were in the apartment, we would take them all the time hiking and stuff. So they love getting up in that truck because they know that they're gonna go somewhere fun. Oh, they're gonna take me out. It's actually a lot warmer here in South Dakota. It's like 59 degrees right now, 57 or 59. I can't remember, but it's a lot warmer than when we left Iowa. Going, Joe. Okay. Are you feeling happy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I see you growing out that little scruffy beard already. Mm -hmm. I like it. Do you feel free Drop. yet? Mm -hmm. Want to be free of the truck? Huh? Oh, man. Not too bad. Not as bad as I thought. It's going by fast. It's going by it's way faster bad. than I thought. I mean, we're already halfway across the country. Even with stopping like constantly for the dogs and me, because. Mm -hmm. You know, I have the bladder of like an 80 year old woman, so. You're 80, aren't you? No, Joe, I'm half of 80. Thank you, though. <laughs> Here. Hmm? See ya. See ya. <gasps> Go get him. <laughs> I'm going to get Parker. Now they're going to get Joe. 
Oh, he's all the way down there. I guess Joe's getting himself a little workout too. <laughs> oh, it's so nice out here. You guys, <laughs> I still can't believe we're free. <laughs> I still can't believe we are free. Like we are going across country to Alaska, not on anybody's schedule. We don't have to report to anybody. It still feels so surreal. I asked Joe this morning, I was like, how does it feel? And of course he's like, what? How does what feel? I'm like, being retired, like being free, like not having to report report in and get up to an alarm clock. And you know, with the usual Joe enthusiasm, he was like, it feels good. So I think we are gonna stop in and see Mount Rushmore while we're here uh, in South Dakota. These dogs can drink and we have to keep a rug or a towel underneath their water bowl, water bowl at home or else they get water everywhere. And they'll just come up and water is just dripping out of their mouth and they'll walk down the hall and traipse it all over the house. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. Where you are. Sit. Sit. <laughs> he likes his little bed. He feels safe in there. Oh. Chuck monsters can't get you in there, huh, B? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> okay. Good boy. We just pulled into the Cattleman's Steakhouse in South Dakota, and I can't even tell you guys how excited we are about dinner. This is the first actual sit-down dinner that we've had, like meat, good food, not like something through a drive-through. So I'm really excited to eat. I'm really hungry. That continental breakfast this morning at the, at the hotel was, mm, and I haven't really ate much since, just some sunflower seeds and coffee. Well, good morning, friends. So we are on our way to Mount Rushmore. Um, last night when we pulled into the hotel, I literally could not record anything. I have managed to completely jack up my neck again. And it has been a full three days now of this trip that I have had neck pain and I really, don't know what else to do about it. So we realized yesterday when we got into the hotel that we accidentally left our pillows at the hotel in Iowa. And the problem is with this neck issue I'm having, the soft, squishy 
hotel pillows make it worse. Like I need firm, hard, skinny pillows. Like that's what I sleep with at home. That's what I like. And the hotels don't have that. They've got the fluffiness. And I just was devastated when I got into the hotel last night and realized we forgot our pillows at the hotel in Iowa. So we just made a pit stop at Walmart to get new pillows and then also to get some cream for my neck that my mom recommended as well as some rice. Joe makes me a rice sock when my neck gets like this. So we'll be able to put that in the microwave tonight when we get to the hotel and hopefully that'll give me some relief. Kind of been living on Tylenol the last few days here and there. You guys know how I am about pills. I hate taking anything. Not taking ibuprofen because of my ulcer situation. So, um, yeah, just kind of trying to medicate with Tylenol here and there when it gets really bad. Hopefully this cream will give me some relief. I'm going to try and suck it up and get through Mount Rushmore, but I'm a little bummed. This is definitely putting a damper on the trip for me, but nonetheless, we're gonna grab breakfast and then head out to go see Mount Rushmore.
So we're here at Mount Rushmore. Parker is so excited. You guys, it is really a sight to see when you come up around those little hills and you see that mountain, it's amazing. It's something that we've all seen before, but to see it in person, there's nothing like it. Parker, you ready to go sit this mountain? Yeah. Check it out. Yeah. Look, look, too much. Yeah, there it is. You can see him. There's like nobody here. I guess that's the benefit of yeah. coming in the off season. It's like hardly anybody here. No pets. No. Pets. Yeah, on this point. Gosh, there's some people. The last time we came here, we were moving from Alaska to Virginia. Lexi was about Parker's age and Parker was about 10 months old. And it was during the summer. So it was like super hey, busy you. with all kinds of people. We're following you. That's all right. <laughs> oh, this is so neat. How massive that is that's amazing wow like we're right here right in front of it <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> you could ride that thing huh hey guys Ah, oh, Joe, you got a Merce. Yeah, I got a Gucci pack. Joe, you should totally get that for Alaska. Yeah, I got a Gucci pack. So you need that here. Mmm, isn't that neat? Yeah. yeah. See, I try to get functional souvenirs, you know what I mean? You guys know I wear my hair in a bun all the time, so I could totally put my hair in a bun and then use this to keep my ears warm. Be careful. Okay. Joe, why are you showing off, Joe? What? <laughs> oh. Oh, you're like a mountain goat. Let me hear your mountain goat cry. That's a bear. Oh, look at the little baby mountain goat. Why are you scared? Yeah, you gotta turn around and help him. <laughs> turn around. Come on, I'm gonna help you. Parker, you know stop. you can trust Dad. Oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Get your foot up there, boy. And you want to go to Alaska? Good job. Face your fears, P. Let me hear your mountain goat cry. <laughs> oh. Joe, where's yours? <laughs> wow. We're having too much fun. I think we're having more fun climbing the rocks than we were over at Mount Rushmore. <laughs> so much fun, friends, but now it's time to get back on the road. We're halfway across the country. Actually, a little more than half now. It's hard to believe. We'll be in Washington State before you know it, catching that ferry, baby. All right, P. Diddy, let's roll. I think it's time for a cup of coffee. Well, the cream definitely helped my neck. 
but I put that on about three and a half hours ago, maybe four now, along with the Tylenol, and I think it's starting to wear off. <laughs> I almost think I'm having muscle spasms in the side of my neck here, so. <sighs> Just have to be lubing up and creaming Tylenol till I can get in to see a doctor, I guess, but at least it took care of it long enough for us to enjoy Mount Rushmore. Parker, you're gonna scare them chipmunks. <laughs> Leave the chipmunks alone, buddy. <laughs> Did you have fun? Yeah. Was that super cool? Yeah. He's about to eat a cricket. Uh, okay. Joe thinks he's funny. He picked up some crickets. I'm guessing dehydrated. I don't know. But he wants me to eat a cricket on camera. So we have bacon and cheese flavor. Salt or and we have salt and vinegar, which he already took these out because he already ate one. Dad, let us see you eat one. I want to see you put it in your mouth. Babe, I, look, I'm not starving, I'll so. Did you really just eat that? Oh my gosh. You are disgusting. Just a little cricket. No. Oh my God, I can see its eyes. Can I, I can see its eyeballs. Oh, okay, yeah, you can have it. Just I'm try Parker, it. Parker, yeah. I double dog dare you to eat no, that cricket. No, What if you had to to survive? I would die. Just try it, buddy. No, I'm not, no. Joe, let's see the cricket. Put it on the palm of your hand so I can see it. Hold on. You're a little dry. It's moving. Gosh, it is not moving. No, there's something making it move. Or something is... Wanna try, buddy? No, I ain't eating it. Let's see, Joe. I'll give you $5. I don't care. I'm not eating it. $10. No. Oh, okay. What's it taste like? Like salt. Mm. <gasps> Look. Uh -huh. You can see their little legs and stuff. I can't believe you did that. <clears throat> what do you that. want, bacon or salt? I'm not eating that. I just did it, buddy. I don't care. That is so gross. I mean, I should, oh, well, no, he's taking his water. <laughs> yeah, wash them crickets down, babe. <laughs> well, babe, I don't understand. I don't understand. On, I don't man. understand any of it. Why are we eating crickets? Just so you can say you have. I don't. Here. Oh, God. Just don't, like, just close your mouth. Yeah. Are its legs on there? Mm-mm. They're all broke off. Okay, wait, I have a question. So when they dehydrate them, is it like their their guts and everything were dehydrated too? Oh, and right. their poop? So that's a little slit, they took them out. Babe, I think you're lying to me because I know you lie Let's about go. things like this to make me do things. <laughs> <laughs> I do not trust you. Come on. Babe, let me just look at it. Just close, no, you don't I have to look at, it. at no, no, I have to look at it. Joe, I no. cannot eat eyeballs, okay? No, this one doesn't have any. Look at those little things on his butt. Ew, are those the noisemakers? No, come on. Close your eyes and open your mouth. Okay, wait. <laughs> Stop. You can't rush me, Joe. Come on. What do I get if I eat the cricket? There has to well, be something get, in it I for me. I just thought you spend all that money up here. Spend all that money? That was for my mom. <laughs> I didn't get anything at that <laughs> gift shop. I'll give you a piece of taffy. She don't want no taffy. Okay, so here's the thing. If I put it in my mouth, I actually don't know if I can swallow it without puking. You have to. Like you have water right here? No. Ooh. Joe, I would legitimately Give die if I was bowl. stuck out in the wilderness and had to wow. eat bugs. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe that I'm even contemplating this. Why? Yeah, that's fine. I don't have to do this. I'm not on like fear factor. I'm not gonna make money off of this. Babe, was it gross? No. I'm scared. It just tastes kinda like tree bark. Like salty mm. tree bark. <laughs> Why did you get a different one, you little jerk? I don't know, I just You got one with legs. The other one didn't have legs. It doesn't matter. No, it matters. No, it I want one without legs. <laughs> no. I mean, look. Okay, why are you acting like it's yummy? Stop it. Yeah, we don't have legs now. Ready? Oh, okay. All right. I, mean, I can do anything. I can do anything. Right, ready? Go. <laughs> Come on, just do it. 
I'm gonna burn daylight. <laughs> I'm Be trying. So 13, 1400 miles ago. All right. There you go. Yeah! Don't put it near me when I'm not ready. Oh God. All right. All right, we're gonna count down from three and I'm actually gonna do it, I promise. Okay. All right. Move your but hand. But you have to count slow. Why can't I you put count. it in my own mouth? You count. I'll do I don't it. want you to put it in my mouth. I'd rather put it in my own mouth. Mm -hmm. So I want you like looking at it and like. Oh God, Parker, if I do it, are you gonna do it? <laughs> I thought she was a man boy. Ready? One, two, three. I do water. I'm not gonna smell it. I'm not gonna smell it. It doesn't smell like anything. Oh, it's salty. Yeah. Oh! It just tastes like tree. Oh, it's crunchy. Oh, God. I can't crunch it fast enough. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh! I gotta swallow it. I gotta swallow it. So you have to swallow it. Or you have to stay. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh. See, it wasn't bad. It's down. Oh God. See, I knew you could do it. My heart is beating so fast. Oh, I can't yeah, believe you did a cricket. Your mom did it. Your mom's a girl. Oh. It does taste that cardboard, like salty <laughs> vinegar cardboard. Another one. I hope that. Ah! Don't put that in my mouth. <laughs> Mom, what it tastes like? Cardboard. No. Salty vinegar. Cardboard. You guys all said you wanted to see me do it. So I did it. I hope you're happy. Mom, oh, what'd it taste like? Parker's Parker, it actually wasn't that bad. I promise. It's just the thought, you can just pretend it's a chip and it's fine. But I know it's not a chip. So it wasn't fine. <laughs> you doing it or not? No. Babe, do you want to give me a cricket kiss? No, it's disgusting. Come here, crickety crickety. Dad, you ate like three crickets. She only ate one. Give me a kiss. You ate a cricket, that's disgusting. Give me a kiss. You I didn't even eat them. That? Joe! I was just throwing I, them You out. said I get something if I ate a cricket and I want a kiss. Oh yeah, so you get a Laffy Taffy. No, I don't want a Laffy Taffy. I want a kiss from my Laffy Joey. <laughs> <laughs> I want a Laffy Taffy. Give me a kiss. Did you eat one? <laughs> When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy but things are finally right with you and i the future is bright We made it to Wyoming. Let me tell you, Wyoming is gorgeous. So was that last bit of South Dakota, actually. 
but Wyoming sure has some beautiful countryside, that's for sure. Nothing but deer, cattle, bison, mountains, beautiful red mountains, it's just gorgeous. So we just filled up with gas. It's time for a cup of coffee and we need to let the puppies out to run and get some energy out because we were at Mount Rushmore for a few hours, so they definitely need to get out and go potty. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up and we just sing along.